This is my brand new Black Desert Online account, but it has some rules and restrictions. First off, I cannot purchase any pearls, which means no additional weight, inventory slots, or any other items that could benefit my experience. I can only use what is given to me by naturally playing the game. Secondly, I cannot take advantage of the accelerated progression through the seasonal server, which includes any catch-up gear like Tuvala armor or any pre-enhanced accessories given through level rewards. But most importantly is that I have zero access to the central market, which means I cannot buy or sell items unless from an NPC. And the goal? I want to reach 700 gear score. I know this is going to be a tedious task, but I'll be enjoying every step of the way. And if at any point you want to read over the rules for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And with all that out of the way, welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. In the previous episode, I was able to enhance my Gruntle armor all the way up to try in order to provide myself some extra DP so that I could start grinding in some new locations. Along with upgrading our armor, I finally bit the bullet and finished the Magnus, which rewarded us with our first piece of boss gear, and since I want to continue working towards our infinite potion, I decided to try out Prodi Cave, since it not only drops the Atnus elements, which I can convert into pity pieces, but it can also drop Tungrad rings, which can boost my AP significantly. We don't have any crazy drop rate going on. speak of the devil okay our first pity piece here we love it i just don't i love making youtube videos so much and i prefer that to be my main source of content as opposed to streaming because there's there's people in bdo like in the bdo category in every category they're able to do like four or five oh okay don't forget if you don't use your daily merc you can turn all three of them into a 60 percent oh true i forgot about that Collect them every day for that reason. I need to get my. Oh! Our first Tungrad ring. Nice. Oh my gosh! Wait, a second Tungrad ring. Bro, we can go for pry on that. All right, pry. Tungrad ring. Attempt number one. Here we go. Come on, baby. 75%. We win that. Music to my ears. Here we go. One more pack. Level 61. After just a couple of hours grinding here with a 530 scroll. We finally hit level 61. Jeez. I just did my second round of rift boxes, and I'm talking a little bit quietly because it is currently 5 a.m. and I don't want to wake up my roommate. But we have 4812. We have 48. Yeah, 4812. And then we have these two additional boxes that we were really lucky in getting. And I don't know exactly what. Wait, I'm going to be putting the this segment in the video, but you'll have already seen the first round of boxes that I got. So, um, like the first time, we're hoping to get crumbs out of all these. I thought we were about to get a pry belt, but we'll take a centaur's belt. Okay, another pog champ. Cashier ring. Not the greatest. Okay. We're just hog champing on everything. Another Kaju ring. Okay, Krons. And then... Let's see what we get. Okay, Krons. Um, ooh. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me like a, a Pride Crescent or something. An Oregon Rat Belt. Not the greatest. Um, more Krons. And lastly, let's see, come on. Give us something good. Oh, we will definitely take an Eye of the Ruins ring. Okay, moving on to the silent boxes. Um, I have high hopes in these. Ooh, okay, first one's a pog. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I thought we just got a prize. Okay, it was just a base. Okay, another pog champ. A base theme. Okay, we're getting good accessories. This is big. Okay, Krons. Alright, last silent box. We got Krons. Okay. Um, so far, not so bad. I think these are pretty good. Um, and now the two... What are these called? Box of the Howling Dead. You cannot get Krons out of these, so we are at least guaranteed a good yellow tier accessory. Let's see what we get. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my god, imagine if we got a dual latent. Okay, Bassy Belt. And last, but certainly not least. Let's see. Another Bassy. Not too bad. I think I'm at a total of four Bassies now, with these included. Okay, after all of my rolls, I think we started at four, now we're at 16. So I originally had, I think it was three or four of these, but now we're at 11. We have a fine accessory box too, and a bunch of other goodies, but we're just gonna open up these boxes here because they could potentially give us more accessories. All right, so first off, we're gonna start with the fine accessory box, which can give us an ogre ring, a tongue red earring, or a Layton. I want anything but the tongue red we got a latent okay good now these boxes are not guaranteed to give you an accessory so I'm just gonna spam click them all and cross our fingers wait why didn't I pog champ for that okay <gasps> hello hello wait why don't you pog champ what an ethereal and a disto holy cow all right i believe it is time to finally enhance yellow accessories going for the bassy on attempt number one pry down i am gonna use a 41 stack for duo here we go Come on. Oh, that hurts so much. Okay, we're gonna use a 25 stack for pry on this Layton. Mm, nice, okay. And then duo is 20 AP. <sighs> come on, let's get this duo, come on. Oh my gosh. Duo is the hardest enhancement to get, I swear. Okay, so with the combined effort of some loot boxes and me grinding at Blood Wolves, I now have five Eye the Runes rings, and I don't see us getting Tet just yet, obvious, for obvious reasons, but I would love to get a try accessory on my gear just because that would help boost my AP just by a bit. But we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're gonna use this 28 stack, puts us at a one in four shot. Okay, we love seeing that. Okay, and due to login rewards, I have 14 40 stacks. So I'm gonna throw one of those on. It gives us a literal coin flip and we hope we land on the right side. And we didn't. Alrighty, our first Ofen Tech kill. I'm really hoping that I don't get RNG with this box, but I primarily just want the auras. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think I pog chain for the feather, but yeah, primarily I want these latent boss orders. We got 12, that's huge. Oh, there it goes. Oh man, all right, first Kudum kill. Let's see what we get here. 
Um, okay, nothing crazy, but we did get two of these, which is not a lot, but we'll take anything we get. It should be dead here. There we go. Okay. This is my second or third? Second or third? No box, but latent boss aura, we need that. Ooh, okay. Our first Nuver kill. I'm praying we don't get the box from this guy because I'd rather get it from Zarka or Karanda. Okay, we didn't get anything cool. And then this is something that we'll need later on. And we have one now. Ooh, all right, Zarka's dead. I believe this is my third clear. This will be my second normal Zarka and then I've killed a nightmare Zarka. Let's see what we get. What is that? Okay. Nothing crazy. Two more late Nora's. We'll take it. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I can't remember how many kills I've done on him. I think this is my third Kudum kill. But let's see what we get. Uh, okay. No box yet, but we still need these. So we'll take that. All right, guys. Our second time killing Nightmare Zarka. Let's see if we're blessed. We were not blessed. We got a melee AP artifact, got a Shrine Guardian token, and we got eight latent boss auras. Wait, okay, I got the last hit. Okay, that's cool. This is my fourth? I think my fourth kill. And still nothing. All right, let's see. Nothing, but we'll take those. Okay, I really need to start taking note of how many bosses I've killed and like per boss or whatever. I think this is the fifth Zarka. But let's see what we get. Ah, uh, dude, I just want a Pog Champ. Come on. I mean, the Lord, the latent auras, we still need them, though, so. Perfect. All right, so this was Nightmare Zarka, which means we should be getting more of the little late auras than normal. But let's cross our fingers and say we get a box. Oh, a little Birdo box. Hey, but well, we got nine of these. That's huge. All right, it's dead. All right. Oh. <sighs> Let's get a Zarka box, come on. Alright, Karanda dead. No loot box yet, but... Oh, well. oh my gosh, that was a really fast Karanda. Um, Alright. Obviously we pray for the Dandelion box. Ah. Uh, no box, but we got three late auras, and that puts me at. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we have a hundred? Oh! And for those who are not aware, a while back they consolidated all the latent boss auras, so instead of having to gather a hundred of a specific type to turn in for said box, you only need to gather a hundred from any world boss, and you can turn those in for any piece of boss gear. This change is going to make gearing up Athos account so much easier because in the event that I can't get anything to drop from the world bosses, I'll essentially be able to pity my gear up a bit faster. Now, when looking at my gear, I wasn't sure as to which piece would be the best to choose first, but I ended up settling with a Kudum because of the additional bonus stats I'd be gaining. I mean, when comparing it to my ultimate horn bow that I had equipped, I'd be gaining an additional 42 monster AP and plus 10% ignore resistance. And I'm aware that this swap will reduce my DP by a little, and I'd be losing a bit of accuracy, but I think the trade-off is worth it. But I'm not going to bore you with any of the enhancing, so I'm just going to speed this up until we get to plus 15. Okay, so we just got our Kudum, and now we're going to enhance it, but because it's at base, I'm just going to skip from here all the way up to about plus 15, and then I'll catch you guys back when we're there.
Oh, there we go. Okay, now we have plus 15, and I was able to use these yellow stones that I've been getting from world bosses uh, to get it to plus 13 and 14, and then I was just going to keep going until I got 15, which we did eventually get. So now we got to go for pride duo, and I'm going to settle at try. Ideally, I would like to eventually get all my boss gear to try when I get it. And then from try, we'll work our way to Tet. And then once we get everything to Tet, we'll go from there to Pen. So I want to work on getting this to try first. So we'll go for that now. Okay. One tapping to try is so nice we will definitely take that and now that we have a tricutum that does decrease my dp down by six which is fine because we now have a 17 ap increase our accuracy does go down as well but if you look down under the item effect we now have an additional 42 compared to the ultimate black warrior horn bore we have a plus 42 extra ap against monsters and then we have uh, plus 10 ignore all resistance, which may not sound like a lot, but that truly is very significant and that will help so, so much. But now we have that. Oh my gosh, 200 AP flat, 260 DP. We are now 460 gear score and that feels amazing.